What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nostantoski here of Maize and Brew. And yikes, Michigan drops this one 64 to 72, the Michigan State Spartans. Two key things I had going into this game. Number one, stay healthy. Number two, ruin the NCAA tournament chances for Michigan State. Obviously, neither of those worked out. If you saw the thumbnail, Eli Brooks got hurt. Let's head into it. Disappointing game, but lots to learn. So let's go ahead and uh, right away, Hoggard. This is like the only clip of him. He was pretty much non-existent rest of the game. So uh, good start there. Dickinson able to put that one in. Langford starts the, uh, hey, what if we just shoot all difficult twos and make an insanely high clip of those? Michigan State uh, able to get started on that. Franz Wagner, that one's not able to roll in. Um, here, good defense, maybe a little physical. You could argue a, a possible foul there. Dickinson down low with the spin. Thought he was getting a little too cute with that move. Not able to put that one home. Mike Smith down the lane. Thought there was some contact there. But, again, they're letting him play pretty early, uh, which is kind of nice compared to last game. There you got Hall hitting a three-point early lead here for Michigan State. Dickinson from the elbow. Not really his bread and butter. That one barely misses, though. Mike Smith over to Eli Brooks. He's able to nail the three. Tie game at five early here. Here with a nice charge. You can see here Mike Smith in the lane, able to post up right there. Boom on the pass. Good positioning for Mike Smith to get that. Okay. Eli Brooks able to hit this little floater. If you don't like watching injuries, this is a good time to skip forward, maybe 20 seconds or so. Eli Brooks, you can see here, makes the shot. His left ankle. Oh. Oh. Hate it. Hate to see it. Obviously, oh, God. He's, he's a huge player member of this team uh, what he does defensively and just for the overall ball rotation on offense especially huge part of this team missing him uh is gonna hurt and he came out in the boot later so it's obviously uh not minor but um anyway franz good steal there uh here good defense for mike smith on rocket watts drive i'm gonna say rocket watts name a lot unfortunately there's a good pass down to davis down low that one just can't get in and Rocket Watts over to Hauser. Hauser, nice little drive there. Able to put that win over Shawnee Brown. He showed a lot more this game than he has previously there. That looks like a shot that I would shoot against my brother in uh, like backyard basketball. So Hauser's somehow able to get that one. Livers with a good look, not able to get that one down. Here, okay, so this one, they called this out of bounds on Michigan. I don't think there's any way this is out of bounds on Michigan. This is one of those plays where if it's under two minutes, you would see it go to the monitor. It looks clearly like it's directed out there with some extra momentum from Gabe Brown there. And uh, if this went to the monitor, yeah, obviously it can't with 12 minutes in the first half. But uh, I think at the very least, it should be a jump ball right there. And if not, it should be off Gabe Brown. It isn't though, so whatever. Um, Rocket Watts here says, hey, let's hit all these tough twos. I'm with you, Langford. And uh, he hits that one. Here, Mike Smith able to hit his own little floater there. Um, and here, late in the shot clock, little push off, and it gets called. That is the right call. We'll get to a different push off that is not called. Here, Dickinson, again, trying to go over that right shoulder, just not able to get the right angle. Gabe Brown with a tough little runner, not able to hit that one. Good block there from Michigan. And, uh, you know, low scoring affair, a lot of misses early on. Aaron Henry's like, hey, we're hitting tough twos. Can I join? And uh, they continue that streak. And Michigan State's hitting everything there. Good defense from Hall against Wagner. And this is something Wagner struggled on, those entry passes to Dickinson. Not able to get that one. Here, I don't know what the hell this foul call is, right? So they call it right here. And you could potentially say he's like hooking the arm of Dickinson right here, right? If we play this like relatively slow, you can see like maybe that's what they call. Otherwise, I don't know what this guy's deal is. I like just letting the big guys battle down low. They're just fighting for positioning. So I think that's a BS call um, against Michigan State there. Here, Mike Smith, nice dish there to Franz Wagner with the throwdown. You can see this is a really good play. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just a miscommunication between... Uh, Bingham and Henry, where you have Dickinson just uh, setting a, a screen here. Franz Wagner's going to pass, and then off of this screen, is just going to cut. These two do not communicate, and that's just an easy basket for Franz, right? There's the pick. Bingham doesn't move, and the backside help isn't there, so that's an easy basket. Cut the lead to three. Here's another one. They called this off of Michigan. 
Uh, despite the number of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and a half uh, arrows going that way for Michigan, he is deciding to go the other way. So he goes against the judgment of the Michigan bench. And uh, let's see if he's right. So right here, you can see clearly Franz Wagner gets a hand on it. It looks like right there, right? There's an extra momentum from the ball, extra velocity put on from Hall. And you can see right after, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. That's another one where it's like if it went to monitor, I'm sure it would have been reviewed. And then here, I swear this is like, I'm not going to complain about the refs the whole time. But I don't understand how this ref, unless he has x-ray vision, can see what the ball is doing in John's hands right here, right? He doesn't have control of this, right? He doesn't have control. He loses it. He, he never possessed the ball. So in my opinion, you can't really travel unless you have full possession of the ball. That ref never saw that, right? He doesn't know whether he has full possession or not. It's assumed that he does, and they call it travel. So that's something where I just don't understand. Um, seems like the wrong call. Anyway, Mike Smith able to get the drought for Michigan over with there with the nice mid-range livers. Puts a little shoulder in, a little fadeaway rainbow. Ooh, watch out. Here you have Rocket Watts coming in. Okay, I said I wasn't going to complain about the refs, but here we go again. This is called on Livers, okay? Tell me where this foul is. Where where does Livers hit anything of Rocket Watts on this drive? Look straight up. I don't see any body. Did he kick him right there? Is that what they called? That right leg? Does this right leg kick rocket watch right there that's the only thing otherwise i don't see anything call it a foul on him i don't know i didn't see it um but again i'm biased so here we go nice feed there seb jackson to the corner isaiah livers finally able to knock down a three michigan's up by two shawnee brown with the ball nice drive here nice to see him come back on offense a little bit that's a nice finish with the right hand rocket watch Nice little hesitation on his own drive. And this should have been called a foul. You'll see at the end of this one, Shawnee Brown whacks him right in the head. And uh, so that should have been a call. Okay. So they missed calls for both sides here. That one definitely should have been and one. Their miscommunication. Zeb Jackson having to play some minutes without Eli Brooks. Here, Hauser again. Really tough finish. Not bad defense from Johns. It's just a tough finish. And they were able to hit a lot of those. And Rocket Watts says, hey, let's ruin Stevens' night and hit another tough two that banks in like that. And uh, he says, hey, how about one more? And I'm not having fun. And uh, he did a good job at that. Here's another one. Franz, bad entry pass, right? Got to give a fake, give a fake, and then entry pass. And Hauser's like, hey, I'm also going to hit a three. And Michigan State's up five. Good feed there from Franz to Mike Smith. Cuts the lead to two. Going into the final possession of the half. But Aaron Henry. He's been a little quiet, able to drive. Nice finish on that one, and he got a four-point lead. Here's Hall. Nice spin move. Good defense there from Livers. You could say maybe a little body. The bench didn't like it for Michigan State. They're all holding their hands up. They're like, where? Shawnee Brown able to get the and one there. You can see the arm here for Langford. There's a good drive right there. That arm, a little bit too much co contact. Excuse me. Shawnee Brown able to get the and one. Here's one that super frustrated me. So this is a push-off. Whether you want to call this a uh, – we'll, we'll finish the play here. So after that, Rocket Watts able to get the teardrop. Okay. You can call this one of two ways, right? Either he flopped or he didn't, right? Either that's a push-off. I think that you got a pretty strong case for a push-off, and this guy has a front-row seat to the push-off extraordinaire event in front of him occurring, and he just shakes his head – like my mom does when I like used to ask for ice cream when I was a kid. He's like, nope. You see that? Watch that little head shake from that ref. He's like, nope, we're not getting ice cream. Nope. Like what? Two things can happen, okay? Either one, it's a flop warning, or two, it's a foul. Those, those are your two options, sir. Instead, he just goes with like a little disgruntled like, nope. And uh, call one thing or the other. And he decides to do neither. There, good hesitation from Aaron Henry. Uh, the differential is five now. Nice little step back there from Livers. They called it a two. I couldn't see his feet there because of the scoreboard. But it's called a two there. Again, the long two extraordinaire. Langford here, nice extra pass for Sean Brown, Punishing the double team 
There, you got the finger guns out for Terrence Williams. Here, really nice set to get the alley-oop to Austin Davis. Let's see what happened here. So because Bingham helped out here, right? You got two players here uh, following on this pick and roll. And then you're gonna have Davis go and set this pick here on Henry while Franz comes around here. And Henry's going to go over and follow Franz here. What's gonna happen is Bingham's just gonna be a giant question mark. He's gonna be like, where do I go? And meanwhile, you're gonna have Davis going down the baseline for the alley-oop, right? So there's Bingham trying to find where he has to go, and there's just miscommunication here. Henry is following, uh, Bingham is not dropping, and that creates that open lane, and really good pass there for Mike Smith for the alley-oop to put that one in. So well-designed play and well-executed. Here, Aaron Henry just shooting threes, able to get some space there. Uh, Mike Smith here. Trying to get an entry pass to Davis. Not great when you have a guy with a 7-4 wingspan like Bingham down low. And then you have Franz just pushing a little too, bit too hard, forcing that one a little bit. Here, Mike Smith, nice little hesitation. Good seal off there from Austin Davis. Michigan is still sticking around. Three-point game. Rocket Watts again says, hey, long two? I love those. Are they especially difficult? I love those as well. You got the bench fired up. I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's screaming. He's fired up. Hall, I believe that is. Um, there, Livers just bites a little bit too hard, trying to get a potential turnover against Hauser. He's able to put that one in. And then here, most frustrating possession of the game. Oh, God, that sucks, right? So this is a missed shot. You got Bingham trying to go for the putback. He's just hanging on the rim. So it goes off the hands of both Smith and Shawnee Brown, then goes off the hand of Henry. No one's boxing out Bingham because he's pretending to be Spider-Man up here, just hanging out. He decides, okay, perfect time to come off the rim here. It bounces right to him, and then Dickinson picks up his third foul for the putback. Kill me. Uh, Zeb Jackson trying to get the entry pass. That's tipped and off of Dickinson here. A good pass there from Dickinson off the double team to Johns. Just can't put that one down. And it's a 10-point deficit. Zero points in the last four minutes. Shawnee Brown joins the long two party, able to put that one. And here is a perfect way for Franz to actually get the entry pass. Notice what he does here. He backs up here, forces Henry off his feet, right? He's off his feet trying to protect against his potential shot for Franz Wagner. What that does, that opens up a ton of space and the timing. So... As soon as Henry is landing, that's when you put this entry pass. He can't get his hands up quick enough to disrupt that pass, and that gives all the room in the world for Dickinson to make that shot. So that's how it should be done. This wasn't done enough. Here you got two people guarding Watts. Watts is destroying my Sunday evening. He hits that one. Aaron Henry with a tough one. This one, okay. A couple things. This guy is the most angry eyebrows in the world. His eyebrows have overtaken his eyes and he is just mean mugging and pointing at Dickinson like it was you and uh I don't know how it was him okay so Aaron Henry I think he does get fouled right here from from Franz Wagner right there all right see that right arm for Franz Wagner and you can see this he's clearly looking clearly looking right here clearly looking at this play this Dickinson is nowhere near here he's trying to get marble box him out so I don't know where he thinks. I think it's just misidentification because right there is the only spot where the arm for Dickinson is, and that's nowhere even near where Henry is. So it's a foul on Franz Wagner. But uh, this guy just decides, hey, I'm pointing right at you, Dickinson. And that's his fourth. Okay, so Davis is in now. Davis on the offensive side, able to uh, show off some nice footwork underneath there, able to get that basket, eight-point lead here, Rocket Watts. Destroying all of my dreams there. 10-point lead again for Michigan State. Franz Wagner just, again, trying to force it a little bit too much with that pass down to Davis. That's a turnover. Again, forcing a little bit too much. There's three guys there able to finish that one, though. Uh, good feed there from Smith to Livers to Shawnee Brown. Gets the friendly roll in. So it's a six-point lead now. Rocket Watts. This is a foul I don't understand. It's the fifth on Davis. This is a uh, alley-oop attempt, right? He's just going to go here, alley-oop right here. And uh, because Davis, like, drops back a little bit, I don't know. If a guy is trying to jump over you or jump onto you, I feel like that shouldn't be a foul. It is. That's how Davis fouls out. And uh, six-point game. Here, 
Henry again just hitting these tough step back shots. They hit him at such a high clip this game, it's unreal. Franz Wagner able to put that one down, stop the bleeding a little bit. It's a five point game here. Henry just you know, good offense, good step through there. He's a he's a powerful guy and able to get that one down. Franz Wagner going for a little step back, just can't get over the rim, and it is a seven point game here though. Dickinson really smart, able to pick up the end one. You'll notice right here. Watch his right arm, Dickinson, right there. He notices Bingham is going up, right? Notices that arm is within his body. He's able to extend his right arm, use the left to finish, put that one in. And uh, it's crafty. It's crafty. He's pumped up. Screaming to himself. And uh, Langford driving here. Good job from Franz. Cutting off the passing lane. And all of a sudden, you got five point, right? It's a five point game. Here to Dickinson. Again, Langford getting some body into him. Dickinson's pumped up. He is the free throw. It's a two point game. Now, this possession was really, really, really bad. So Michigan was in man-to-man. -man. You see Mike Smith, he's calling out two, which is 2-3 zone, right? 2-3, I can count. 2-3 zone, main person to watch here. Langford recognizes this because he's a 12th-year player now, and uh, he get, he spots up right here, and Franz Wagner is caught between two guys, and he doesn't give enough respect there to Langford on the three-point line. He drills it, and that's huge. 50 seconds left, makes it a five-point game. That's it, right? That's pretty much the game. I mean, not quite. You got a step back attempt there for Livers. He can't make that. Uh, you got a foul there. Now it's a seven point game. Um, feed here for Mike Smith. Deep three for Franz Wagner. Puts that one down. So cut it to a four point lead. Rocket Watts steps on the line. You can see this ref point. Yup, you stepped on the line. <laughs> he's just screaming in his face. This ref, he's so weird. But you can see, yes, I think that is the right call. He does step on the line. Um, and Michigan has life all of a sudden, right? Here's a really good play. You free up livers. That's a decent look. Just can't get it going, right? And that's the point of this game. One thing to watch right here, though. So he misses that, right? Watch Dickinson right here. Tangle up down low. Right there with Hall. And you'll see there's some hookage going on, okay? Right here, there's some hookage with both arms there from Hall. You see right at the end of the play, there's interlocked arms. Okay, I zoomed in here to try to figure out who interlocked arms first. And you could argue Dickinson is hooking right there, right? Like that's kind of a hooking motion. And then right here, you can see Dickinson's getting pulled a little bit, okay? So I don't think this is like a super clear call either way. I'm just frustrated that it wasn't called. Similar to that push off, it's a hook and hold on somebody, right? And I mean, I mean, Dickinson's over here flopping like like looking like a fish. He's hooked so hard. But uh, you know, did he initiate the hook? I don't know. You got Franz Wagner trying to sell a hit to the face. I don't know, man. It's one of those things where again, it's a hook and hold on somebody. Called on somebody, even if it's the wrong one. I'm better with that than just shutting your eyes and just being like, oh, didn't happen. Uh, it makes me mad. Anyway, there's two points for Mike Smith. Uh, a couple free throws there for Michigan State. Makes it, again, a six-point game. Final possession here. Can't get that going for Mike Smith. Trying to get a three. Can't get that. And game over. Okay, one thing to watch at the end of this game, which sucks. Watch uh, after this miss for Mike Smith. Watch Franz Wagner. Right? He's a little gimpy. He doesn't look happy. That's not a happy face. And uh, it's looking like one of his, his legs, his ankles... A little gimpy, so it's a good thing that he's able to like grab the ball and still shoot. But you can see he's not happy. After the the in the post game speech, there was nothing that Juwan Howard knew of this potential injury. I still don't know. Something to watch moving forward. So that's the game. All right, let's move to key stats. Shawnee Brown, thirteen points, five of ten shooting, two of six, three point four rebounds. Dickinson, twelve points, four of ten shooting. Seven rebounds, one assist, and finally, Mike Smith, 11 points, 5 of 12 shooting, three rebounds, and seven assists. Wagner had 10 points. Livers had nine points. Neither were particularly efficient. For the MSU side, obviously, Rocket Watts, he had a crazy day at 21 points. Aaron Henry, 18 points as well. And Hauser, better game than usual for him with an efficient 11 points. Okay, three key points of this one. Number one. Health matters way, way more than this individual game. No disrespect to MSU. Obviously, they won the game fair and square. 
but Michigan already had their Big Ten title in hand. Uh, Michigan State's on the bubble. Biggest thing from this game was health, right? Going into the Big Ten tournament, try to solidify your number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Um, so, of course, Brooks, you know, looks like a relatively serious ankle injury. And then this last play right there, Franz Wagner, potentially a foot injury of some sorts as well. So just a bummer, right? You, you don't want to see that. And that would definitely limit the ceiling of this team if either one of those players can't contribute in the postseason. So number two, Livers needs to heat back up, right? Nine points in this one, uh, especially with Brooks out. You, you need Livers to step back up offensively, get back towards his ceiling. He's been quiet as of late. So having his offensive output come back would help alleviate some of these potential injury uh, concerns that Michigan now has. And finally, number three, the bench needs to contribute in a big way. Excuse me. So Zeb Jackson will get a lot more minutes. Actually, he wasn't really getting any minutes before. So now with uh, Eli Brooks out, you'll need those point guard minutes from Zeb Jackson to help spot some Mike Smith time in his absence. So Shawnee Brown stepped up in a, in a pretty big way in this one. Good to see him getting back to form. Need that moving forward, right? Only uh, It only accentuates the importance of his contribution moving forward. And then Terrence Williams, right? Importance of him getting time, especially in this game where you had both bigs getting into foul trouble with Davis and Dickinson. So I'd like to see Terrence Williams getting a little bit more, maybe get him in to make things a little bit easier for livers and have livers be able to come out a little more fresh and be more of an offensive charge uh, in lieu of Brooks not being a part of that as well. So that's all I got for you guys. Obviously disappointing, but Michigan's still number one seed in the Big Ten tournament. Still got that ba- banner to hang in Chrysler for the regular season Big Ten championship. So lots of things to play for still. Um, and, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. Beyond that, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay safe out there, and as always, go Blue.